Now then everybody, so riding up on the North York Moors today, I'll just be going to ride at a place called Sheep Wash, which is uh, just a few miles from Oz Mother Lee. And uh, starting this ride off with a steady climb. And it's a tough climb as well. Oh, made it. So our plan for today is to head along this track, which is um, just above Sheep Wash, uh, called Beck Reservoir, which is just beyond the trees on the right hand side. Um, heading over towards Square Corner and then plan is then to drop into Silton Woods and uh, cut through those down towards Thimbleby and heading back towards Osmotherly and then got a steep little climb which is the road from Osmotherly to Square Corner so in effect what we what we will be doing is like um an out and back if you like so one of the sections uh, further along this track will actually be coming back along it and then dropping into uh, the woods here on the right hand side it's not a very uh long ride this one uh, it's just more of a leg spinner in this area but it's a perfect day for it it's uh, hardly any wind uh, at the moment it's uh, sort of north north easterly wind it's only about 10 miles an hour or so so at the moment we've actually got a tailwind but once we get through Silton Forest uh, towards Thimbleby uh, we'll become a headwind but yeah, looking forward to this ride and uh, hope you enjoy watching it. So just to our right here, this is the actual climb from where Cobbeck Reservoir is. And you just see the sign there on the left, it's uh, National Cycle Route Network, or part of it, uh, route number 65. So just coming into view now, we've got Black Hamilton and you can just make out on camera the climb that goes up the right hand side of it so this section that we're uh, on at the moment um, we're actually heading out to Square Corner but then later on we'll be coming back and then doing a section through the trees down towards where Codbet Reservoir is Yeah, so we're just about to meet the road now from Osmotherly, which goes to Hornby. So what we'll be doing is, we'll be coming up from the right hand side, we'll actually be climbing that and coming up here. So just approaching Square Corner now. So you've actually got a better view of the climb, which goes up the side of Black Hamilton. Oh yes, thanks very much. You, pro you probably sussed me out slowing down back there, so you get the gate first. Thanks a lot. Just coming to the top of the climb here and uh, just start to feel that northerly breeze now. Ooh. So this fire road um, actually drops us down to over Silton. But what we'll be doing is um, taking a, a right turn just before we get to the bottom and uh, meet the bridal way that 
will take us towards Thimble Beat. Which is just here. Didn't realise it was going to be so soon actually. Yeah, it's just quite uh, boggy along here, as you can uh, no doubt tell. As you can see, there's uh, quite a few uh, horses who's marked, but probably over the worst bit now, I think. Imagine there'll be a few slippy bits along here. That's it, we made it down to where the fire road is now. Excellent. We are down. So this is uh, Thimble Beat. One of these um, picturesque villages that you get on the North York Moors, or in this case, uh, the edge of it. So just in front of us, that's Osmotherly. That's uh, where we're heading to, but just before we get there, we actually turn right and do a big climb. All right, how deep is this? There's a really nice waterfall there. Very picturesque. So if we want to do a shorter version of this ride, uh, we'd actually go straight on into Osmotherly, carry on through to do the climb up to the BT dishes, but we take a right here. So this is the road that goes up to Square Corner. Yeah, when I first started mountain biking in this area, uh, we used to do this road climb quite a lot. Needless to say, I used to hate it. Good fun coming down it, mine, but not so bad this time, I don't think. Steady away. That's it, we made it to the top. So now we take a left here. So we meet Cycle Route 65 again. So yeah, we actually came down this way. And start to feel the breeze again now. Coming down from the north, northeast direction. Alright, let's take a left here. And drop down through the woods. Right, let's go.
so this is a section now that will drop us down to where the caravan park is Court Gill oh, it's that stick So yeah, if we just took a right there, that would have took us down to where the uh, reservoir is. Codbeck. So there's no walkers down here. It's certainly quite woody. That's it, we are down. So in terms of um, adding that extra bit on where we climb back up again, rather than go through our smother leak to do that descent, do you think it was worth it? Absolutely. So if we're going to do a shorter version of this ride where we're coming in towards Motherly and turned right to do the big road climb if we decided not to do that and just come straight up we would have come straight up this way so now this is the climb that will take us up to where the BT dishes are Scarthgap Woods it is actually a private road however at the same time it is a permissive bridleway so we are allowed to ride up here so we're getting towards the top of this road climb now and just over to the right you can uh, make out Rosby Topping It'll be a lovely day for climbing up there today So yeah, we've got a really good view of uh, Rosby Topping now and then just to the left we've got the Eston Hills as well and uh, the hill in front with the woods on the top that's Wall Hill which uh, has appeared on quite a few of my rides and then just to the right the big hill that you can see there that's Carlton Bank right here's the bride away Right, so Scarthwood Moor. Yeah, no. Right, so this is Scarthwood Moor. So it's more or less all downhill now. Back to the uh, car. So let's enjoy this descent. We are actually on uh, the Creedon Way as well. Uh, this this section so we get quite a lot of paved sections with uh, gullies wow look at that view at the left there that looks amazing what I'm going to keep my eyes on this track
Yeah, it's looking a bit misty over towards Teesside. Got to bear in mind it is a northerly wind, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually a sea fret. This is the last descent. Ooh. And that's it. We are down. Fantastic. So just coming back into sheep wash now. This is the start of the ride. So yeah, it's uh, been a lovely little ride that. Um, quite a short one, but plenty of climbing. Good section uh, out towards Square Corner, then drop through Silton Forest. Headed along the bridleway to Thimbleby, then climbed back up. Did the descent down to Court Gill and the climb up to the BT dishes. And then we've just done that fantastic descent. Uh, along the Cleveland Way. So, once again, thanks for watching. I'll put all the links in the description and uh, catch you all on the next one. <laughs>